photographs for them i think it took out the dream world that they thought the west was in because it's too real so instead they included the um the engravings and the engravings gave allowed the um the artists to romanticize the west which attracted more settlers more tourists so art was used for that reason art is also used for investing in the West. And this you, they show to people uh, at their tea parties, going, look, I own a piece of the West. Uh, this one here is a Colorado Coal and Iron Company, which was started by William Palmer and William Bell, later sold to John Osgood, and later ended up in the hands of John D. Rockefeller. This company, one of its main operations was Crested Butte Coal Mining brochures on the area filled with uh, either the chromolithographs, lithography, um, just all sorts, all sorts of art that attracts the eye, sells the product. And of course the West at that time was the product. We finally found one here. This one's a, a classic that uh, by Thomas Moran and it's Tiacali. Now Obviously, we have a lithograph in 1930 done by the Colorado Fuel and Iron Company. As you can tell, the mountain is quite recognizable, quite iconic, and probably you could either say it was the big mine or something like that in the foreground. And once again, this kind of interesting, as I call, black light poster, but it is 1930s. Um, another dramatic piece to help sell coal. Most people just see it as a knight and a dragon, but if you look into the deeper meaning and you know the history and the challenges that are going on in Crested Butte here, it is kind of symbolic and representative of that, uh, that aspect, the dynamics to the politics that are continuing to this day. And you know their strengths and you know that they're human. We are human, right? And it's a really good thing to remember because it involves humility and all in your ego it can get shut down, but it can be lifted and it's just, it's just what it is to be human. And so what I love is that you can do almost anything here. Like you can, I know people who've never been on stage and they do mountain theater and all of a sudden they have a paying acting job in Denver. And sell their work and quite, this is quite apart from anything in the performing arts, which has been well supported. And the new creative district is a very exciting possibility. And, um, we're really happy about that because it's all the the groundwork that we did i think is now being supported even more and um, the future looks very bright for the arts community in crested butte the earliest art history in crested butte i think dates all the way back to the ute indian history and uh, with the lake city trail um, coming over the pass west to crested butte and i think what I mean by art from that time period would be uh, more functional art. The art of early Crested Butte was art that was functional. Um, things such as uh, weavings or tapestries or baskets, um, tools that uh, were necessary of the time. And I think shortly after that you have some of the earlier uh, trappers coming to town and um, using beaver pelts and um, other animals and furs um, to make hats mainly. And I would say the mining days, and I described that starting 1870s on. Um, in the early mining days, we still find a, a lot of functional um, uh, artisans, so blacksmiths and leather workers. And again, um, uh, I, I don't know if you could call it architects, it was probably a more functional building at the time, but um, there were uh, very talented craftsmen building uh, buildings up at Irwin, and um, we still see some of those buildings today in town. Um, they help really make some of the historical feeling of uh, what town looks like to this day. Pretty much been the history of the Mountain Theater. People getting together uh, originally because they thought that uh, the town needed live theater, needed a little bit more art. People were coming together um, and finding out just what Crest Butte was all about and why the arts fit in so wonderfully here and so beautifully here. Crest Butte has turned into a very nice little art community uh, in, in terms of uh, the number of galleries and the diversity of, of artwork that you see at the various events that take place here in town. 
um, the development of the new Center for the Arts and the uh, designation of Crested Butte as a, a creative district has been, uh, these are all very good signs for a bright future in Crested Butte as a, a place to, to live and work as an artist.